it's that time of year. We're buying gifts. So what should I give a person who might want to learn about liberty? How about a book? Here are six that expanded my brain. First, Road to Serfdom. In this book, Frederick Hayek explains why government intervention in the economy leads to serfdom. For writing that, Hayek was trashed. Dismissed, ridiculed, and ignored. Yet, in the end, even defenders of socialism came to concede that he was right. Government doesn't need to intervene, wrote Hayek, because a free market, like a school of fish or a flock of birds, creates a spontaneous order. No central planner can allocate resources as well as the individual birds or people. The economy's us! Recently, an economist made this rap video about Hayek's ideas. We don't need a mechanic. Put away the wrenches. The economy's organic. But now socialism's popular again. And celebrities say things like this. We Interest have to say yes to, to socialism, to the word and everything. So A Road to Serfdom is a great book to give to your socialist friends. If only they'd read this. Still, its old-fashioned language can be tough going. Here's a gift that explains economics in modern language. In his many books, Thomas Sowell makes economics simpler. No charts, no equations, all words, plain English. That's right, no graphs. No graphs. In basic economics, he explains things like why President Trump is wrong about trade. How much should people really worry about the balance of trade? Somewhat less than you worry about being struck by lightning. Maybe someone will give this to the president? An even simpler book that tells the story of how a clueless lefty reporter finally woke up to the benefits of free markets is this book. But it would be self-serving of me to promote Give Me a Break, so I won't mention it. Atlas Shrugged is another great introduction to creeping government intervention. In this novel, Ayn Rand predicted today's America predicted high society parties where rich people would vilify profits and other things that made them rich. Our ideals are higher than profit. Rand saw, long before I did, how that kind of ignorance and the size of government would increase, despite her character's efforts to fight it. If you believe you may seize my property simply because you need it, well then so does any burglar. The government's the burglar, said Rand. And this book, The Myth of the Robber Barons, takes the point further. It explains why capitalists like John D. Rockefeller, people who were called robber barons, were in fact not robbers or barons. They were not born rich, and they didn't get rich by robbing people. They got rich by creating better things. Rockefeller's affordable kerosene, processed crude oil, made the world brighter, warmer, cleaner. Likewise, Cornelius Vanderbilt got rich not by robbing, but by making travel faster and cheaper. Vanderbilt cut the costs of travel, filled his ships with eager passengers. It was Vanderbilt's competitors who called him a robber baron, and the ignorant media picked that up. The competitors who hated Vanderbilt didn't feel much need to improve because they were backed by politicians. When they failed, there was always another politician to appeal to. Vanderbilt, in contrast, had to serve his customers or he would have lost his company. Exactly, because the so-called robber barons had their own money at stake, so they spent it carefully. Two more books left. Consider Animal Farm. Novelist George Orwell describes farm animals who revolt against their human master, only to be ruled by new tyrants, the pigs. I'll make your decisions. In Orwell's book, All animals are equal. With the exception of the pigs. Finally, another great introduction to freedom is this book, Free to Choose. Milton and Rose Friedman explain in plain English here how limiting government creates prosperity. The free market enables people to go into any industry they want. The Nobel Prize winning economist once said, put the federal government in charge of the Sahara Desert, in five years there'd be a shortage of sand. We somehow or other have to find a way to prevent government from continuing to grow and continuing to take over more and more control over our lives. Well, we failed at that. But here at Stossel TV, we won't quit trying. And these books will help. 
Happy holidays. Thank <laughs> you.